Hi, I'm clinical psychologist Dr. Michael Yapko, and just this week I had a brand new CD come out called Better Focus, Better Life, so I wanted to let you know about that, but it raises the larger issue about the role of focus in people's lives. You know, I've spent 40 years of my professional life studying attention and the qualities of attention and what they allow people to experience and likewise what they discourage people from experiencing. And it's a general statement of truth that what you focus on determines your quality of experience. Well, in previous blogs, I've talked about depression in general. I've even talked about antidepressants a little bit. And part of what I think is so important as a skill set for people to develop is the ability to direct their own focus. So often what depressed people do is they focus on the things that are wrong, they focus on the things that really bother them, they focus on the thoughts that roll around in their head and generate all kinds of anxiety for them. And it's why when people take the time to learn focusing strategies, whether it's things like hypnosis, or mindfulness, or guided imagery, or visualization, or any such experiential kind of a technique, it ends up having such a profound influence on them. And it's really why I created this particular set with four experiential exercises in learning how to focus on positive possibilities, focus on what's right. But the larger point that I'm making is, what is your quality of focus? Is it easy for you or difficult to focus? Well, this is a learnable skill. It's a trainable skill. And I think that it's an important thing to appreciate that what you engage with is going to determine a lot about how you feel physically, a lot of how you feel emotionally. What a difference to focus on what's right. What a difference to notice your strengths and strive to amplify them. And of course, it's the very first principle of perception that what you focus on, you amplify. So in this short blog, what I'm encouraging is for you to really stop and think for a moment, focus for a moment on your experience of focus. And if what you discover is that you have a hard time paying attention or you only tend to notice what's wrong, then it would be really valuable for you to start to learn some focusing strategies that redirect your attention to the kinds of things that can make you feel better. Focus on that for a while. Thanks for your attention.